Good afternoon, I'll be honest. Good afternoon. <laughs> I slept in. Making myself a quick goatee on my way to the CHQ Museum. I nearly took down a millie mug. Doesn't work for a goatee. It's called Epic Museum CHQ. It's a museum about Irish immigration. They reached out to me because of my TikTok, which is like the first time anyone's ever done that. So I have to make a TikTok. Let's see how this goes. So I went to the Epic Museum CHQ and met a girl called Lindsay who gave me a present. <laughs> Brilliant. This is stressful. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. You can get your Irish genealogy trace there, by the way, just so you know. So the exhibit starts off with the Departures Lounge, and it's really interesting because emigration has had such a big impact on Ireland and really shaped our culture and our history. And this exhibit does a really good job of explaining how and why that happened. By thousands of years of migration, it covers all the reasons that Irish people have emigrated throughout history and the impact and shape that has had on our culture and also our identity. The exhibit doesn't sugarcoat the history either, which I quite liked. So our convicts used to get sent to Australia because it was essentially a death sentence because you weren't coming back. And so the Irish are actually colonisers, which is awful, but it's true. You know, we were colonised, but we also have colonised. By the way, at the start they give you a passport that has all the sections of the museum on it and in each section there's a passport stamper so you can fill up your passport as you move through the museum. We love a consistent, well thought out theme. Some of the visuals in this museum are, as would be expected, a little harrowing. But all of the visuals are absolutely stunning, really well put together and really well thought out. There's touch screens basically everywhere. It's a really interactive exhibit and obviously with the year that's in it, we have touch screen pens. There's not a stone left unturned. We've got the financial recession. We've got the famine. We've got religious persecution. If these Presbyterian scoundrels seek passage to the Americas while in my pens, I shall have justice. We've got the coffin ships, we've got the convicts being shipped off to Australia, we've got the lack of women's rights, and we've even got Irish sports people leaving the country to pursue their sport elsewhere. It's not even that you don't know this history, it's that you don't want to know it, you know? You want to pretend like it's not what happened sometimes. Oopsie, put it in a foot. <laughs> The part that kind of blew my mind was the impact that this mass immigration from Ireland had on other countries. The wars Irish people fought in, the impact we had on changing the places that we ended up. I didn't know so many Irish fought in the American Civil War. It obviously makes sense. So many of us went to America, but yeah, wow. It paints this really interesting picture of Ireland's relationship with the rest of the world and also of Irish people's relationship with emigration. And obviously the special relationship with America gets a mention. Irish signatures are on our founding documents. Irish blood was spilled on our battlefields. Irish sweat built our great cities. Our spirit is eternally refreshed by Irish story and Irish song. So you could say there's always been a little green behind the red, white, and blue. I really love how they have like the Irish name reaching the quarter miles. Oh, sport is such a big part of our history. Like it's woven in with like really serious history. I love it. Miss O'Leary, I'm gonna go Miss O'Leary, she's a bad bitch. Oh my god, it was Miss O'Leary, look at this. <gasps> A reporter admitted to making it up. Miss O'Leary. Poor Mrs. O'Leary. Okay, this is definitely wrong. I'm wearing shoes. If I took my shoes off. Yeah, there you go, five foot, look. 
Five foot nothing. Get that my shoes on. Food, drink, cinema, comedy, and music all get a mention, as does river dance. And last but not least, storytelling. Storytelling is such an important part of Irish culture. And like that's part of the reason I started the Storytime podcast because I was in a pub one day and I realized everybody has a story. I think that's just Irish people. We just love telling stories. It's our thing. So I like this room. This room feels good to me. He's gone.